Yo, we just took a shower and I feel amazing. I just showered off two days of travel. Hey, I'm Ruthie and this is Hammer. In March of 2019, we quit our jobs and left America in search of a new home. We have two years to find a country where we can have a family, start a bed and breakfast, and grow old together. Subscribe to join our adventures. Guys, we're leaving Makarska now and we're so sad. Oh my God, they're about to reverse over, into me. <laughs> we're leaving Makarska now and we're so sad because we loved it here so, so much. We're pretty much spending the next like 48 hours uh, on a travel day. Long ass <laughs> travel day. Long travel day. <laughs> it's gonna be very, very long if you haven't said that already. Yep, we have one bus. It's overnight. It goes from 9.35 until like 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't know what that is, like 7 hours or something, to go back to Zagreb. Then we have 12 hours in Zagreb. And then we have a bus from Zagreb to Budapest. And then an hour and a half there. And then we have a bus from Budapest to Bucharest. And that's where we're gonna hang out for a couple days before going to Redizat National Park in Romania. Okay, it's 9, it's 9.53 now. The bus was supposed to come at 9.35. This is like the first time Flix bus has been late. So I'm not so mad, but we're kind of just like Meh. But the later it comes here, the later it drops us off in Zagreb. So that's actually better, because right now we're supposed to arrive in Zagreb at like 4.30. So, like in the morning. So if it drops us off a little bit later, that's fine. We just finished our first leg of our journey. Seven hour bus ride over here to Zagreb. And right now we gotta spend from 6 a.m. Well, we got here at like 5.45. 5.45 until 5 p.m. For now, we just gotta kill time in Zagreb. So we're gonna head to a cafe, do some work, and then hang out, I guess, bum it for 12 hours. <laughs> Got a couple pastries, right? Yeah. I went to this place across the street. It's called Dubravka. I think it's a chain. I've seen it like all over. I got a croissant, but this is what's better. This is called Burek, U R E K. And you can get it with cheese or meat, but I asked the girl which one she prefers, and she said cheese. So I'm trying. What a breakfast. That looks phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. Oh, I want some of that. When you come here, you get some work. Still currently bumming it. We just went to a coffee shop and we're waiting for the burger place to open up. I think it's turned to 11 right now, so it opens at 11 o'clock exactly, but we don't want to go in at 11 because that seems pretty desperate, so we're going to wait till 11.10. I can see the burger spot from here. <laughs> right there. Look at the big burger sign. All right, we're on our way to the bus now. We just spent the past like 12 hours just working and bumming it out in the city and I'm still in a sweatshirt even though it's like 80 degrees out. Yeah, I don't know how I'm doing how this. You're doing that. <laughs> All right, we made it to our next leg of the journey. We wait here for an hour and a half and then we have a really long bus ride all the way to the grass. All right, we're gonna awkwardly just sit here for an hour and a half <laughs> and then catch our bus over to Bucharest. It's also a full moon right now, which is beautiful. So we leave at, at 11.30 here. It's essentially like 12.30 in Bucharest and we get there at 5.30 p.m. So, that's 17 hours. I've never done this before. Hammer hasn't either. And hopefully they stop enough for us to walk around. There's a bunch of firsts for us, so hopefully they stop for breakfast and lunch, that'd be awesome. Even if they just stop once, that'd be fine with me. The good thing is I haven't eaten a lot, so I won't have to go to the bathroom a ton <laughs> on the that's bus, true. which is awesome, yeah. yeah. So I'm we should be good. I'm trying to drink a lot of water, but that's hard because then I get headaches and stuff. Yeah. Um, but we should be good. Hopefully it stops for breakfast and lunch and then we're good to go. So it's about 3 a.m. and right now we're at the passport control. 
this is the cheapest option to get to Romania, right? So we decided we'd take the Flix bus because we wanted to remain within budget. We could have flown, obviously, but that would have brought us over budget. So we decided to take the Flix bus all the way over there and just go for it. It is not the easiest. Definitely not the easiest. I won't lie to you guys and say, oh, it's comfortable, it's easy, just do it. It is, it is hard, but if you want to get there within budget, you can make it happen. You just gotta rough it a little bit. You just gotta power it through and get there. He's passed out. I secured my own row. It took, right now it's like 9 a.m. So it took, how many hours? 10 hours to get my own row. I just got it like 30 minutes ago. Before that, we were just sitting together in our row. I had one seat, Ruthie had one seat, and we were just like squished in there for 10 hours. We have uh, eight more hours to go. And we're, I was just working and Hammer was like, Ruthie, I think we're in an auto body shop. I don't know what we're doing. I think there's something wrong with one of the tires, so like now we just stopped at an auto body shop. <laughs> so it looks like we're gonna be on the road for a little bit longer. Turns out it was an issue with the tire, so they changed both tires, and now we're back on the road. So we still got about a little over five hours, and then we'll get there. For now, I think we're gonna do some work, and then uh, hit you guys up when we get closer. Ruthie. What do people need to bring with them to prepare for a 48 hour bus journey? Bring a lot of water, really comfortable clothes, um, maybe like um, a notepad, a pen, or just your phone so that you can write things down because this is a good time to reflect. And food, snacks, chips, lots of chips. Um, maybe comfortable shoes. We just take our shoes off usually. It's weird that I'm wearing mine right now. Ooh, your feet sink. <laughs> um, money, a good attitude. Very good attitude, that's the most Very important thing. Currently in the mountains. So, turns out we're switching buses from this bus to this bus for the next three hours. Do you know if they changed the bags? They did, I think. I need to check that out. I guess, there's your bag. Can I see yours? And it has everything, okay. And there's your shoes, both shoes, we're good to go. All right. All right, so they moved our bags over for us. I got us Snickers and some barbecue chips. We finally made it! <laughs> we're here, Booker has 17 slash 48 hours later. Yeah, 17 hours on a bus and 48 hours later in total we're finally here and now we're just waiting for our uber what's up my man's over here <laughs> <laughs> whoa it's beautiful we have a view yeah, saw some mini about me. oh a view of the roof actually this is not a bad view hold up wow that's the view and that's hammer Two long days we're here. I need a shower. Same. The shower is facing the bed, which is awesome. That's so cool. I actually love that. Look at the shower. <laughs> so we just took a shower and I feel amazing. I just showered off two days of travel. Do you know what <laughs> that scrub is like? It was straight up black underneath me. No, it really wasn't. But it's I did not smell the best for the last last two days, so I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty happy about showering. <laughs> Me too. And now, <laughs> now we're about to head out to uh, a place across the street, which apparently might have wings. And I love wings, so I'm about to chub, chow, chub. <laughs> I'm about to chub down. No, I'm about to chow down. <laughs>